Ragdoll physics are becoming very popular in video games because of their ability to make character interactions feel more lifelike. They allow characters' bodies to react dynamically to forces and impacts, making the game feel more realistic and immersive, and also just feels funner to play with. However, most games that use ragdoll physics only use them to replace death animations. This is because ragdolls are very good at falling down, but that's about all they can do on their own. So how do we get ragdolls to balance so that we can use them in our games other than just for dead characters? Well, most games that use active ragdolls just apply an upward force to the head or fix the rotation of the hips so that it's impossible for the character to fall down. Some games that do this are Human Fall Flat, Gang Beasts, and Tabs. As you can see in these games, the hips don't move. The problem with this approach is that the player can tell that there are external forces being used to balance the ragdoll, and it just breaks the immersion. So the solution to this problem is self-balanced active ragdolls. Metalcore 999's active ragdolls balance themselves by placing their feet where they need to step to balance their body. They also use some external forces to keep the hips upright, but it's not very noticeable and it looks like they're balancing on their own. Here's another example of a ragdoll balancing itself. This one uses inverse kinematics to position the feet, and this is the approach that I'm going to be going with. The most difficult part of this is figuring out when and where the feet should step. What I did was, when the foot was too far from the body, it would take a step. And to stop both feet from stepping at the same time, I added a pause between steps. This made the character just take two steps at a time, and it looked really weird. Then, in my procedural animation video, I discovered that it looks good if I wait for both feet to be too far from the body, and then the furthest one behind takes a step. Then instead of stepping directly below the body, I made it overshoot the body in the direction that it's moving. It took me a while to get this working in 3D, but when I did, this is what it looked like. I also lerped the foot's position and added a point in the middle of the step where the foot leaves the ground so that it doesn't just look like he's sliding his feet across the floor and he's actually like taking a step off the ground. Okay, now it's time to add physics so that it can actually interact with the environment and be an actual active ragdoll. However, since the legs don't have any actual strength, the body just falls to the ground when you add physics. In Danny's game, Milkman Carlson, if you look closely, you'll see that Carlson's body actually lifts itself up, but it gives the illusion of the legs actually having strength. So, I shot a ray cast below the body, and then made the body float above that point using physical forces, and now can walk up and down slopes. Then, to improve its balance, I added a weak torque to the hips so that it wouldn't fall over so easily. But if the hips get too unbalanced, I disable all the scripts and it ragdolls. This is the final result, and I'm pretty satisfied with it. It's really fun to play around with, and I think it looks really good. And as you can see, I added some boxes that you can throw, and you can also like grab things and pull them. And it just makes it really fun to play with, and it's really cool. And you can just like mess around with all the different ragdolls. And I made a basic NPC script, which makes the ragdolls walk towards the target. And so this ragdoll walks towards me, and that other ragdoll walks towards this ragdoll. And then this ragdoll walks towards this cube, and you can move it and it'll follow the cube. To make it easier to set up the active ragdoll on another character, I made my first editor script, and all I have to do now is put in a few bones, and then it'll automatically generate the inverse kinematics and all the scripts and stuff so that it can balance by itself. And so now I can just get a new ragdoll in my project, and I can just add the script, and then like in a few minutes, it's balancing all by itself.
Anyways, I'ma just keep showing some clips of me, like, playing around with the ragdolls. But if you wanna play around with it, I uploaded it to itch.io, so you can check the description for the link, and then you can just download it yourself and mess around with it. Also, if you want a more in-depth uh, technical video about this, just tell me in the comments, and if people actually want me to make that, I'll make the video, and just make sure you're subscribed so that you can see that. But yeah, if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. I'd really appreciate it if you leave a like so that more people can see the video. But yeah, um, I'll see you next time.